Let's now talk about diagnosis according to six stages, an overview. In the theory of the six stages, the body is divided into six energetic levels that can be affected by exogenous pathogenic chi. The deeper the level that exogenous pathogenic chi has penetrated to, the more serious the condition is. The relationship between the strength of the invading pathogenic chi and the body's zang chi will have an influence on how deep the pathogenic chi penetrates. The six energetic stages are Taiyang, which uh, involves the urinary bladder and the small intestine, the Shaoyang, which pertains to the gallbladder and the Sanjiao, and Yangming, the stomach and large intestine. Next, we have the Taiyin, uh, which pertains to the lung and spleen, the Shaoyin, which pertains to to the kidney and the heart, and the juayin, which pertains to the liver and pericardium. Tai yang is the most superficial aspect, and juayin is the deepest. Exogenous pathogenic qi can penetrate deeper into the body in the following ways. First, by continuing sequen sequentially through the various stages. Next, by skipping over one or more stages and by penetrating from the channel down to its internal organs or its partner's channel organ. There may be overlapping patterns where there are symptoms and signs of two stages simultaneously. If there already, if there is already a deficient condition in an organ or an aspect, pathogenic chi will more easily penetrate to this level. For example, if there is kidney yang deficiency and the person is invaded by wind cold in the Tai Yang aspect, the cold can penetrate directly to the Shaoyin aspect due to the yin yang relationship between the urinary bladder, which is Tai Yang, and the kidneys, Shaoyin. In the six stages model, it is cold that has invaded the body and created imbalances. Heat can though arise when the cold penetrates deeper into the body. When there are apparent heat symptoms and signs without any preceding cold signs, this is explained as being a consequence of latent heat. Latent heat can arise when cold invades the body in the winter. The cold will be inactive and later transform and turn into heat. In spring yang, yang will begin to rise upwards and outwards. This movement of yang will result in the latent heat being driven upwards and outwards to the exterior, where it will activate the body's defense mechanisms. There will therefore be signs of heat without the person having been exposed to pathogenic qi. Signs and symptoms of heat can also quickly manifest in, in an invasion of wind cold if there is heat already present in the body. Diagnosis in relation to the six stages analyzes the relative strength of Zong Qi and pathogenic Qi, whether the disease is advancing or retreating. Distinction is made between heat and cold deficiency and excess, and whether pathogenic chi is located in the interior and exterior. This determines the treatment, for example, whether pathogenic chi should be drained or expelled, or whether zhang chi should be tonified. The six stages diagnosis differentiates the following. First, where the disease is whether the disease is in the interior or the exterior, and if it is only on the channel level of the Zhang Fu organs are affected. In relation to an eight principal diagnosis, the Taiyang stage is an exterior imbalance. Xiaoyang stage is half interior, half exterior, and the rest are interior imbalances. What the nature of the disease is, whether the disorder is deficiency or excess, 
hot or cold. When Zhong Qi is strong, there will be a chic condition or an excess condition. In general, it is, a, it is an excess condition when the disorder is in the Tai Yang and Yang Ming stages and a deficiency condition when the disorder is on the three Yin stages. Xiaoyang stage is often a combined uh, deficiency excess condition. Tai Yang stage is usually characterized as being cold. When pathogenic qi is in the yang ming aspect, there is heat. Xiao yang can be either a hot condition or a combination of heat and cold. The yin stages can be either hot or cold, depending on whether it is yin or yang that is injured. Next, how the disease is developing. Disease development is a dynamic process that is in a process of constant change, especially in the initial stages. The theory of six stages can be used to determine if the disease is improving or deteriorating. It, doesn't by, it does this by assessing the relative strength of Zhang Qi and pathogenic Qi and in which direction the disease is moving. If it is penetrating downwards from one of the exterior aspects, this is a negative sign. Conversely, if the symptoms change and the pattern changes from one of the deeper stages to one of the more exterior stages, it is a positive sign. Now let's go to the treatment principle. The six stages diagnosis determines the nature of a disorder. This then dictates the way in which the disorder should be treated. For example, if pathogenic qi has invaded the tire aspect, this is an excess condition and the treatment principle will be to open to the exterior and expel pathogenic qi using a draining needle technique on points that expel wind cold. Conversely, if there is a yang deficiency condition on the tire aspect, Spleen yang should be tonified and warmed using a tonifying needle technique and preferably moxa on points that tonify spleen chi and yang. Thank you 